Welcome back. Hi, everyone. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Steve? It's been two yeah, weeks. Did, can you please say it in the tune of the Bare Naked Ladies? It's been two weeks. Yeah, you know, that's I, good I, enough. I don't fucking know what that is. <laughs> it's, it's literally just the guy starts off the song going, yes, man. Yes, One man. Week, one week since the, I can't remember. All right, since the fucking horrible episode that may or may not go up. It's been one week since the horrible episode of Isaac. <laughs> Anyways, so Pat. Yeah, Steve has been I, uh, I, Steve has been hyping up some new Final Fantasy talking point with me for a little while. I, I didn't want to hype it up. I was oh. literally just going to talk about thirteen three. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, right, so that is lightning returns. Yes. Yes. So just for everyone to know, yes. We're skipping thirteen two because I skipped thirteen two. <laughs> good, good, good. I know it improved, but it was um Oh really, it did improve. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of side quests. <coughs> if the main character dies, you switch to the second main character. There's a Pokemon system. It had a lot of improvements. So it's just Pokemon. Well, for the third party member, yeah. <coughs> oh, but I I still was like, no. Nah. Plus I saw Michael do most of it. Oh okay. but thirteen three is a fucking good one. Okay, what uh, w what's different? Okay, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Um, uh, dress spheres. Well, okay. Oh, uh, so we we also have not talked about uh, Final Fantasy X two though. Uh, we we'll just give a little recap. We got drunk one night. Play I was like, yeah, that was fun, and then we never went back. Yeah, we we just got the people who like to dance the weirdest. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of the best systems I've seen. Where Dude, Bragman, fuck off. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna tell me to fuck off. But yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I call the you dress Bragman. spheres, they are you know the paradigm system, right? Yes. They're each like their own. So each dress sphere has like stat buffs and debuffs, obviously. And okay. you can equip three dresses at a single time. Alright. And you can switch between them in combat. And each dress sphere has um four moves. They some of them are like, yeah, this one has a guard. But you can put in other three, like, ones that you find throughout the world. And how, how extensive do these get? Like, can can I make one to, like, make me transgender? Yeah. Oh, really? It just yeah. turns you into Saz? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there's one that turns you into Cloud. Oh, nice. And, and um, that's actually true. You can just get Cloud's outfit. So, you got all that. You get to pick a bunch of different weapons, a bunch of different shields, a bunch of different um, cosmetic items and accessories. Hmm, okay. So... The main thing about the combat is you start in, like, your default one, and then it's the ATB system, but you control them all. So you're the first one, so when you run out of your ATB, you switch to another, which then slowly recharges the every other one. Okay. So you're going through them all. It's like, yeah, you get your healer. Well, there isn't any healing in the game except for items. <laughs> um, and, like, the special magical power, which you shouldn't use too much. So, so you can't be a white mage? There is... A white mage outfit but there's no like healing because that's so what does the white mage do <laughs> i don't know dang is it it's probably just a really good mage it's like um for me i had like a tank a magic dealer and a melee and one of the cool things about tanking is it's all like so that dress here will give me like t twice the <laughs> amount of health so if I took if I had like a thousand health and then I had two thousand and I took twenty damage, that would only take ten off from my other ones. So building up good strength on good ones for the ones that take damage, and then having a really good shield to block, because blocking with your shield, if you do it perfectly, you can just never take any damage in the game. But <laughs> great, good fucking luck. I mean, you you have oh, so so like the same sense as like Dark Souls, you could like yeah. not get hit at all. all yeah, right, it, it's very hard. But just building up your shield to like, yeah, you take so much reduced damage from it, but you do a lot of shit damage, which is fine in your tank setup. Okay. So you switch between them all. And then... Of course. <laughs> the big gimmick of this game is you have 13 days. <laughs> you start with 7, but they're like, yeah, you'll eventually get 13. Hey, it's been two to, weeks since the end of the world. What? To do, um... Save as much of humanity as possible. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, you just do side quests the entire fucking game. Oh, great. It, some of them are quick and fun, and others are really long and annoying. You um, don't level up in the game. Oh, at okay. All. Instead, whenever you save someone, you get stat ups. You just start believing in yourself more. People start believing in you. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, so you, so that's the big progression thing where, yeah, you can get the best gear, 
but you need to do side quests to get good so you can do the main story. All right. Or yeah. the main story, I guess I'll say a little spoiler warning <gasps> for those who care. It's not that big, but as far as I know, most of the main story involves you saving the cast from the first two games. <laughs> Gross. I don't want to save them. <laughs> I don't really consider it that big of a surprise because literally the first five minutes is you trying to save Snow and failing. <laughs> oh, go oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to save him, and those are pretty much the big points. I have not beaten it, but I think it is really fucking good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have not beaten it, but it's amazing. <laughs> it, it's one of those things where I was playing it, and then I left to go to college, and then it's like, I don't feel like setting it up. <laughs> that happened with Metal Gear Solid Five, which I think is also an amazing game. Also, it didn't <laughs> help that Michael just kind of beat the game in front of me. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy uh, thirteen three. Th yeah, yeah. He just kind of was like, "Yeah, I want to play it again," and then he just did it in front of me. Like, I haven't beaten it yet, dude. It's like, yeah. Really quick, should have noted that should not have blown up that blood bank because there were plenty of red hearts to get me more money. Yeah, probably. Fig figure I might as well at least like say that I realized that after the fact. <laughs> yeah. So, from every game after like starting with ten. 13, 3, and fourteen are the only two that I like. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. We can just leave. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Yeah, so that's all I have for thirteen three. It's a really good game, and you should consider it. if you didn't like, if you didn't like thirteen or thirteen two, try it at least. How related is the story to the other two? Fairly. All right, so it's it's very related to the second game. Okay, so you should probably play that one first then. Uh, I mean, you can just read the plot synopsis. Dude, Steve, who's ever done that? I don't know. Me. I, I mean, I I guess because I have played one and know the plot too because michael played it in front of me also <laughs> he played all of them in fucking front of me michael really likes hanging out with steve and, uh, he really yeah. liked hanging out with me in high school yeah where he, my family thought he literally just lived with us <laughs> that is great yeah uh I think, what, other, what other good michael stories can we talk about <laughs> fucking no oh there was um i did tales of the best with him and at one point, there's a spot where you can um, gamble, and it, and that town has like the best like end game weapons. Yeah. So Michael spent a few hours just gambling there, and I wanted to continue. <laughs> so like, it, it, you say it's gambling, but was he consistently winning? Uh, he was doing fine. The, oh, okay. The big thing is, is that you win, and then you can turn in the tokens for prizes. You can't get money from it, and we needed money. <laughs> so, our plan was to win enough tokens to then buy 15 broadswords, and then go to the weapon shop down the street, sell them, and then just keep doing it until we had, like, an abysmal amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> and, tail, tales of the abysmal amount of money. Yeah. And those were the best weapons until... I think I think that was Mike's end game. <laughs> I, I was able to get my ultimate weapon because I was able to do the Coliseum solo. And oh, like him. fuck off, Michael! <laughs> yeah, he really wanted to do it, and then he want to um, he wanted to get some food. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it one time after, <laughs> after he failed five times, <laughs> and then he's like, oh yeah, you see, look at that, me, the fast dude who can heal himself. Fuck you, Michael. That's right, we're pro gamers over here, at rambling gamers. <laughs> Yeah, I think I picked the best character for it, though. See, and I, what? Uh, I, I was just going to ask, what do you think your best game is? The game that you're the best at? Halo 3. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I was really fucking good at it. I don't believe I was ever that great at it. So. Uh, it's that or, for some weird reason, yeah. Red Dead Redemption. Really? <laughs> I just went in there and I just fucking destroyed every fucking game. <laughs> there was even one time where it was, um... I think it was a 4v4, and two of my teammates left. And it was like, capture the money back, and I almost won. Oh, shit, nice. And, and to just put this in perspective, Michael's really good at games, and he was on the other team. <laughs> Michael is really good at games. <laughs> I mean, I think he's really good. I mean, yeah, he's really good at, like, shooters, right? And... Yeah. Yeah. I'd say I'm probably better at arcade games than him, but he's definitely much better than me at, like, realistic ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. He is he is the battlegrounds champ in our friend group for sure. One day we will win Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, Pat. Yes, Steve. 
Uh, you may have known knows yesterday when we were talking. There's something that I want to talk about. I thought that was Final Fantasy. Uh, no. 13. Oh man. All right. So there are two topics Steve's excited so, to get. So I think it was Wednesday or Tuesday when I was waiting for Jason to finish Max of Overwatch. Why'd you say it like that? Wednesday or Tuesday? Why? Why? Why'd you go in reverse order? Because I'm leaning more towards Wednesday. I don't appreciate this this methodology. Okay, Steve. it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, all right, good. Please. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be trash and download the program on my phone. So I typed in waifu. <laughs> <laughs> I already hate where this is going. And I clicked the and I downloaded the first thing that popped up. Yeah, which is called waifu or laifu. <laughs> What is waifu or life? It is tender. Oh. Um, <laughs> what? I don't believe you. Um, please, please load up waifu or laifu for me okay, right now. Now I need a preface this. I can no longer do waifu or laifu. Like, I can't do waifu mode because I've rated all the waifus. Uh, <laughs> so I have to go to hospondo mode. Oh, oh okay. Sweet. So we're, we're, we're checking out some hot duders. Yeah. So... I'll take a picture and then I'll, I'll send it so people can just see it. Yeah, I was going to say, try to try to so, put the pictures up. So, it's like this. So, you get a person. In this case, I got Obito Uchiha from Naruto. That's just some faceless ninja dude. He's actually very important. Okay. <laughs> so, so you can either swipe left if you think he's a husbando. Right. <laughs> or you can swipe le- right if you say, no, no, no. <laughs> it won't for laifu or waifu. And then for husbando, it's just... Husband or no no no. I thought waifu was for laifu though. No, it's do you want her for do you want her as a waifu or do you choose your laifu? Oh. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it took me a while to think of that. Okay. So I'll swipe left because I'll put him as husbando and then you get and it says how many people chose. Oh, it compares the stat wise. Yeah, so like for Obito, he was thirty percent husbando and seventy percent no no no. <laughs> what uh what'd you go for with him? I want Husbando. No, 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 no. Those days. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, I got another character I actually know. All right, who, who's this? Uh, he's from Hunter x Hunter. He's the assassin, dude. Okay. okay. He's one of the main character's older brothers, and he is fucking weird. Let me, uh, can, can I get a look at him? Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Wait, dude, so this app just doesn't include their faces. Um, three of them have included faces. <laughs> it's, it's weird. All right. It's like most of them, they don't include it, so you, I, I don't know why probably legal issues yeah that's true it kind of just looked like correct you though from yeah, okay yeah he, he was 82 percent no 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 <laughs> but yeah so what makes him a weirdo um he's just a really creepy guy who really loves his brother oh that's nice that's your... okay so or, or are we getting into some like you know f- uh really weird like yeah, liking so, your brother um, sort of thing tom i am gonna say a few things about hunter x hunter here i know you haven't watched it and just in case anyone else does there's one point in the show where it's realized that um his younger brother who is the main character's best friend he stuck a needle on him to brain control him a bit Ooh, a bit <laughs> it wasn't like you can only control like the prefrontal cortex though so <laughs> something like that. it was pretty much just like in any scenario where if he thinks he can't win a fight he like if he isn't 100 percent confident he just runs from the fight <laughs> and that is kind of a bad thing for the character because yeah he, 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 made, he made him a beta. Yeah. Even though he is one of the best. Um, although he is best friends with my favorite character from the show, who is just literally Joker. <laughs> and his... Now, you used the word literally there. He is... He is just <laughs> dressed as a court jester or a clown, whatever you want to go for. And his main weapon of choice is playing cards. Uh, okay. <laughs> and he can slit people's throats with it. And he, wa- and he was the first, like, big villain of the show. And he still is probably the most Im- he's the most well-known villain of the show oh really and his special power is um it, it's it's rubber gum rubber gum so like oh he's like playing pranks on people so when they go try to eat it they're just like oh damn you joker i thought this was going to be a delicious treat but now my teeth just hurt yeah um his nice. thing is he can have a bit of rubber gum from his finger and then he can attack it to other things and then he can force it to retract or expand okay so he is really good at, he's really good at mind games and he is the main character's rival kind All of right. he, he's pretty much the goal for the main character to beat. okay and he has fought him once and he 
get so fucking excited whenever he gets to fight anyone strong. <laughs> Where, oh, so he's like that one dude from Vesperia. Yeah. Okay. So, so he, one of the one of my most well liked moments from that show is their first fight, and then when he finally, um, when the main character finally proves himself as a good uh, fighter, he um, is just like so elated, like he got punched in the face, he's bleeding, and he just has this sheer look of joy, and then. It just shows this beautiful graphic of him just shining and with, like, um, static coming out of his dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. It was just this weird thing where it's like, oh, my God, that's so beautiful and it fits you. Oh, wait, that was the guy who the, um... Unicorn, unicorn wizard. Yeah, the Unicorn yeah, Wizard fan one. made I that fucking, was about. He is by far my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can understand people not thinking he's the best, but I just, fucking love him. I can understand people being stupid, yeah. but... It's like, I mean, the show has a lot of really great characters. Like I said, um, the main character I really fucking like, and Tom, like, at this point, I'm, I'm going to spoil a fair amount of the show, I guess, <laughs> from this point forward. We'll try so, We'll try to put in a little link. Steven, remind me to put in a link down below with the timestamp when we uh, yeah, sure. get off of this part. So, the main character's um, main ability is rock paper scissors all right so so now we're just going into your other anime you were talking about during our owl boy series oh yeah but so this is how it works he'll start it up and then he has to choose beforehand whether he wants to do rock <laughs> where it's a short range attack right scissors for a medium can I, range can i like, interject extremely quickly yeah. i really thought you were going to say he has to choose beforehand whether he wants to win or not <laughs> 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 nah, I think I'm gonna throw this one. <laughs> yeah, he can do he can do scissors, which is just a sword. So he can like make his anime magic bullshit into a sword and then do it as a medium. Okay. Or third, he can do an do paper, which is just an energy blast. All right. <laughs> and it is really fucking intense whenever he does it because it's always a really big mind game between him and his opponent. So, so is um waifu or laifu just like a catapult for you to talk more about anime <laughs> i mean i figured i i had one i just wanted to bring it up and then like talk about one of the stupid things in it okay <laughs> so there's a lot of characters from danganronpa in it oh really okay ibuki got 35 percent waifu oh what <laughs> the people on this sh is the people on here are fucking terrible yeah well i mean the people on there downloaded an app called waifu or laifu I'm, I'm assuming most of them didn't do it for, you know, whoa. <laughs> Steven, I think I'm rich. <laughs> I don't think you are. Oh, God. First off, yeah. I gotta, gotta uh, get rid of the purple the, lo fires. the lowest one, which I think you can kind of potentially agree with, is um, Sakura from Danganronpa. She had 21%. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, they had Toko and Hiyoko, and okay. they were higher than Sakura. Okay. This is a, this is a good room for Kane, <laughs> I must say. Uh, oh, we're done already? Oh, that yeah. sucks. Also, that I got Ryuk from <laughs> who? Death Note. The weird guy who just hauls light around. Oh, yeah, He's dude. He's definitely a husbando. Yeah, absolutely. 39%. Oh. Only 39% husbando? Oh, fuck. I mean, if you if you date him, you kind of figure, like, you gotta get some, like, perks, right? Like, yeah. you, you should, like, get a Death Note for, like, banging him, right? Also, I can confirm, um, there are traps. <laughs> there was one trap in the... Husbando and one in the waifu mode. Oh, okay. So I don't. I, I Wait, don't is it like spoilers, or do they not tell you that like it's a trap and they just go with what they appear to be at the beginning? The one for the waifu mode, it's like this is a guy playing a girl. Oh, okay. And then for the husbando, it's like everyone fucking knows at this point. <laughs> it's just this weird cat lady, and and one of the first things that as soon as they see um him. The, one of the characters like, yeah, despite how he looks, he's a boy. <laughs> it was like me and uh, that one video game. I don't think I should say because it might end up being a spoiler later on. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know the trap. Yeah, uh, my ver I my very first time I looked at um, this person, I was like, wait, that's a guy that looks a lot like a girl. And then, uh, and then later on, it's just like, whoa, it's actually a girl. I was like, yeah, I know. Oh, uh, oh, okay, now I know. I thought we were talking something else. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. And, like, I fell for it because I'm like, but the text said so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I was thinking the same thing, and it's like, oh, okay, I guess the text just does that. Because <laughs> I guess they didn't want to know they were a girl. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a common everyday occurrence. 
But yeah, so that is pretty much the big thing I downloaded. I downloaded like two other apps. <laughs> just, just for funsies. <laughs> yeah. One of them is called Dream Girlfriend. <laughs> or I named my, I tried to name my girlfriend Jailbait, and they didn't take it, so instead I, <laughs> instead I put FBI. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so I, I downloaded a couple of those uh, Tournament of Fire games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such as, you know, Disney Cross Heroes and Pac-Man 365. 256. D- whatever. <laughs> Three, yeah. 365. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Yeah, you uh, gotta play it every day or else you die. Absolutely. Yeah, Pac-Man Go. Yeah. You actually have to run around and there are actually, like, serial killers following you behind you. Can we talk about Campion Star, which we are kind of excited for, despite the fact we're missing it literally right now? Well, yeah, so we have a uh, recording to do today, but yes, uh, we, we are excited to at least catch the VODs for Champions of Fire, and uh, hopefully Northern Lion kicks the ass this year. Yeah, so for, for you guys who don't know, which I'm assuming is a fair amount of you, because it's only Tom, yeah. so it's pretty much just a, a competition between a bu- like 16... Amazon you? Amazon is hosting a mobile gaming tournament. Eh. Yeah, so it's kind of a casual tournament, but it has one person that we both really enjoy watching, Nora Lion. Yeah. And then I know, like, one other person there. Uh, yes, uh, there's Sky Williams, who's there, who is also an, an, an entertaining man. Do you know him, Steve? No. Okay. He is a he is a, a gay black man, oh, okay. and he's a he is he's really funny about it. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I I know one person there whose name is Hafu just because I watch her. I used to watch her play Hearthstone a bit. Okay. Because it's like something easy to just watch. Where it's like, hey, right, yeah. you played a card. <laughs> <laughs> It did. Uh, it did always seem like I, I. I had no idea what was going on when I was watching Hearthstone. I, so I, ah, yeah, yeah, Krampus, no. <laughs> you don't understand. I need. <laughs> I. I can find. I can decently follow along because I did play it a bit. But okay. It is just if you fall behind like three, three like updates is like really fucking hard. Because, okay. Like, Ooh, an eight item. Uh, like, ah, I, I don't awful. know what any of these fucking cards do, and everyone's building like some pirate deck. <laughs> yeah. It's like warrior pirate is so fucking good. Like. Okay. Yeah, I, I I also heard that. I was just like, yeah, totally. I, I know, like, one of the cards is you play it, like, it's one cost, you get a 1-1 one, one, and a 1-2. <laughs> it took me so long just to figure out what 1-1 one, one was. <laughs> one attack and one defense. Yeah, one attack, yeah. one... Uh, health. Yeah, health. I was going to say, like, there's no defense to that. <laughs> yeah, you, you played it a bit. Yeah, I, I beat the uh, bartender on normal mode, and then I fought him on hard mode, and he kicked my ass. I was just like, I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> uh, I did I did a bit of ranked. I only got a 17 because, for some reason, my thing kept crashing, but I think that was just because of my laptop. Yeah, I, I think I did, like, one round of ranked. I was like, oh, okay, this guy seems like a new guy like me, and he completely destroyed me. So I'm like, I think I'm just actually an awful player. I mean, so. you don't have, A, you don't have cards, and B, you probably should have started on just casual play. I did. Oh. You, you said ranked, though. <laughs> oh, you mean also, f- yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, no, I didn't do that kind of casual play. Yeah. I thought, I thought by casual you meant fighting the bartender. Oh, uh, no. The, that's where it's divided into three modes. A is um, ranked where it's like, yeah, you, you just want to see how good you are and you want to fight people around your skill level. Casual where you just pretty much fight anyone. And then um, what's known as arena where you pretty much just make your... They give you two choices for what hero you want. You pick and then you get three choices. You pick... You get three cards, and then you pick one, and then you just keep doing that until you make a full deck. Okay. So, And that's, like, one of the more popular mo. By the way, I do have to say, uh, Bartender, Husbando. <laughs> oh, dude, fucking, um, a lot of Overwatch characters were on Waifu or Laifu. <laughs> there was Tracer, uh, Mercy. I mean, in all reality, she wouldn't be a Waifu because she's not into the Husbandos. Yeah. So. <laughs> Tracer, Mercy... Symmetra, Sombra, Mai, and Widowmaker. Sombra had the same rating as Ibuki. <laughs> Sombra oh, is okay. I, I don't care for her. <laughs> I don't like her gameplay, and I just... I don't think that's what you consider when you decide a wife. <laughs> Pardon me, a waifu. <laughs> thank you. I chose a waifu over her. <laughs> waifu or no thank you. Because <laughs> I feel like she just hacked my computer and deleted all her videos again. <laughs> She'd hack, yeah, she'd hack into my profile and discover all the porn I have of not her. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I decided to um watch the Overworld, Overwatch World Cup. 
Okay. Um, take a wild guess who was in the finals. South Korea. Yes. Now, who is the other team? Germany. Now, Germany wasn't in the top eight. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, no. I thought Germany was pretty good. Uh, um, America? We had to fight them first. Ah, shit. Again got, this year. We got bottom seed? I, I think it's just random. I don't, but, I don't we, know. We were... Okay. Like, this might sound a little You tell me the ELO has no seeding at all in it? I, it's just a round robin thing, and then the two... Well, yeah, but, like, there's usually, like, a seed, like, the top seed fights the bottom seed, so... Well, it's... If, if, they if, divide into four different groups, and then the top two just make it. They don't fight, like, the other ones. Pardon? What do you mean the other ones? Okay, so it's, like, in Group A, you have, like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, USA and Canada did not even have to play against anyone because... Like, to get to BlizzCon, because, like, they do it based on geography. So, like, Asia, they had to do a lot of, like, fighting to get there because there's so many countries there in Europe. Oh, okay. So, we just got there for free, and we just had to fight Korea. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and like, like I, I said this, but I, this might be a bit biased, but I think we are the second best, we had the second best team. Oh, you think so? Wait, was the finals Canada? Yes. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> it was Canada. Okay, so... I'll did talk. they get slaughtered? Honestly, no. No? Okay. No, no one got completely slaughtered by South Korea. Everyone won a match against them. Oh, okay. That's which decent. is much better than last year where they just completely... <laughs> they almost didn't even lose a single point in any match. They almost didn't even play. <laughs> yeah. The only time they lost points were against USA last year on Eichenwall, and that was a very close one. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to go through it all. Okay, so Canada fought yeah. Australia. They fought Australia, and it was a pretty close match, and I was rooting for Australia. No, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, I like Australia. They are the underdogs. I like Canada. Um, UK fought Brazil? <laughs> uh... No, 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 <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Do you remember who all was oh, wait, in the... Uh... It was UK versus Sweden. And oh, I, I Sweden. Was, I was rooted for Sweden, and they won. Okay, that's cool. Did you have Sweden? France versus... Some team, I, I forget. France <laughs> won it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, eighth team. But yeah, so USA... Yes, Scuppy. USA, we won the first match. Yeah. This week was, um... Oh, the map that came out when Orisa came out, the King of the Hell one. Uh, the Oasis. Yeah, that one. My, fa my favorite band. <laughs> yeah. So, we won the first one. The second yep. one was Eichenwald, and it was so fucking close where it was like, oh, we won. And then South Korea just fucking made, like, a comeback, like, in the la in overtime. Oh, really? Okay. And then Hanamura. Yeah, fucking, I hate Hanamura. <laughs> it was so fucking disgusting on both sides attacking what do you, uh, oh what, both like of it. them all right so america attacked first right took them two minutes <laughs> then fucking south korea came and the best player on south korea was like was like okay it's time for me to play widowmaker yeah, uh, oh no <laughs> he legitimately could have taken it all by himself <laughs> it was just so fucking heartbreaking to see. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they got in like two minutes as well. Right. And then both sides had to do it again, but this time they were prepared for the other people's strategy and it went a lot better for defense for both sides, but both sides did like succeed again. Okay. And then we tied. So, right. So at the end of that, it was like 1-1 one, one, and then we had we would have a tiebreaker if the other two won like... If no one had three points by the end of it. Got it. So then I forget what the next one was but it was just like the guy just went back on widowmaker and it was just fucking <laughs> it was just a slaughter so the dude wasn't even bringing his a game right away he's like whatever i'll, I'll i think it's cute to watch him um, squirm a bit and then i'll go widow and <laughs> wreck them all no it, it's more of the um the maps weren't good for widowmaker oh he just did it anyway and the, the, it. the big thing about the well for hanamura it was really good Right, yeah. Like, there's a lot of good sign lines. Okay. The big thing about the guy was he plays, like, 17 heroes. <laughs> Shit. He's like, he, like, can play any in um attack or defense, and he can play a few tanks. Okay, fuck. And, oh boy, he played Bastion. Oh, no. Oh, God. It was a thing of beauty. I, I hate playing Bastion. 
playing Bastion or fine Bastion, but I love seeing it because it is just such a fucking shit show at that point. <laughs> Nobody knows what they're doing at this point. <laughs> yeah, and then whenever they do that, chat is me like, oh, look at this platinum match. <laughs> so yeah, um, we did pretty good against them. Like, we lost the last two rounds like pretty decisively. They just okay. really fucking up their game. I, I want to say we just kind of started choking a bit. Okay. But it could have gone our way. Because nice. we could have won Eichenwald, it was very close, and we could have won Hanamura. So that could have been the three that we needed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then after that, there was France versus South Korea, where they took a map, I think, on the new map, Junkertown. Oh, yeah. I've only played Junkertown once or twice, yeah. I think. The the big strat is to use Bastion and just guard him and hope to God it works. <laughs> I thought that was always the strat. It just works so well on... um Everything? No, on Junkertown. <laughs> okay. It just works so fucking well because of the sight lines, I guess. Mm, I, I haven't done Junkertown, but it's like... There's just a lot of open space, so he just works really well. Oh, okay. With, and then you just have Orissa and Reinhardt just bodyguard him. Huh. Uh, France won one match. <laughs> like ever in their entire history. <laughs> yeah, they won one against South Korea. Okay. I don't, I don't remember like much of the others, because like the USA versus um, Korea t where it was like the big highlight. Oh, okay. It was the one that, it, it's like it's the, if anyone's gonna take down South Korea, it's going to be USA. Got it. Okay. Canada put up a valiant effort. It just was, like just like the Miracle on Ice, right? Yeah. Canada for the finale it was best of seven, uh -huh. so they were they were down three all and then they were able to win. I think it was the um the the map that I said first for USA, the uh, Arisa map. Oasis. Oasis. I can't, my fa I, I my can't. favorite my favorite band. Yeah, I can't remember that name at a fucking all. Yeah. Steven, just just if you can't remember, just call it Wonderwall. Okay, Wonderwall. Got it. But yeah. So they were able to win. So I'm guessing South Korea just isn't good at that map. Okay. Because it is just, like, the first map that's chosen, and I don't think either team gets to pick which map. The loser gets to pick, like, the next map in the category. So, like, the first one is King of the Hill. The oh, second... shit, that was dumb. <laughs> the first one's King of the Hill. The second one is Payload. Third is Control Points. Four is the Payload slash Control Point. And then the fifth is King of the Hill again. Okay. Uh, let's yeah. see, what do we got? Oh, good, I can go to the shop. <laughs> USA fought on... No, 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 they didn't do Chipotle. That was Canada. I thought you were going to say Chipotle. Yes. <laughs> they fought inside of Chipotle. They That's fought inside of Chipotle and they won. Yep, it, it was sponsored by uh, Chipotle, the yeah. whole tournament of shame. And the only... The, the, there's one stupid thing about this whole tournament. Which, only one? I mean, okay, whatever. <laughs> by the production team. So... Okay. I'm going to say and you're going to... Okay. So, the thing they did was... <laughs> They decided to give all the players skins, like, they changed the colors for the default skins to match the country. Okay. So it was like, USA had red, white, and blue. Nice. Um, Australia, for some reason, had green. <laughs> Australia and uh, Brazil got their uh, uniforms mixed yeah. up. <laughs> Four of the teams were all white. <laughs> like, like France. France, South Korea, UK, and I think Canada. Oh, wait, the A team was China. Oh, okay. Because there were two teams that were red. Can you please say it like uh, Donald Trump? Uh, I need my China. China, thank you. Uh, yeah, China and USA were red. Okay. Yeah. One team was blue, and Australia was green, and every other team, at least for the first match, was white. <laughs> and you're thinking, like, yeah, that's pretty cool. But they changed the color of the HUD as well. You can't do that. <laughs> Yeah. I, I regret to inform these people that you just can't do that. Well, they they fucking did. And for the first match, it was light blue versus white. <laughs> so nobody could tell what the fuck was It was, was very going hard. <laughs> and the color just looked really bad to me. <laughs> and it got war. And for some teams where it's like, yeah, they're red. So it's hard to tell the timer. <laughs> like, okay, so I think they have... Five minutes or a minute left. I can't really tell here, people. <laughs> they need they need to take a page out of the Tournament of Fire book if they want to get their act together with these whole tournament things. Yeah, I was like, just make it fucking red and blue. Where at last year at the Tournament of Fire, I don't even think they got an audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Also, like, 
when Mercy was healing or doing this, the damage boost, you couldn't tell. <laughs> it was like, oh, look at that. She's sending a great beam. Is it fucking healing or a uh, damage boost? Like, right. was another thing that really annoyed me because I want to know. Right, yeah. I, when Could I walk, the teams tell? Or were they having... The teams, they had the they had their default. Oh, okay. They, they, they didn't change it for the teams because they thought that'd be too much i guess for them but not for the audience hell yeah dude the true the true champions of this tournament the backseat yeah, I, gamers who are gonna yell at the teams yeah uh i'm trying to think of, is there anything else oh um one of the big things was mercy was just way too fucking good what do you mean it was, oh with her new like valkyrie yeah, form yeah every team ran her except for south korea the first round <laughs> and then they just had to be like okay we need a fucking yeah and then they, they quickly realized like shit yeah it was just she i don't like watching her in comp it's just so fucking boring like oh someone got a pick didn't matter yeah <laughs> and it gets built all around it's not that fun to me so that was the big thing. They get they didn't have much Sombra, which I was very thankful for because do you know the strat for her? Um, isn't it camping basically? Yeah, pretty much all you do is you hack a medic kit, you have your team heal on it, so then you can get your EMP quickly, and then you bum rush with the EMP, and then uh, okay, like you just win, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's just that until like the team can actually do something about it one time, all right? And then the whole strat falls through. So, she is my least favorite character to watch. I think I'd prefer watching Mercy over her. What about... How much was Lucio there? That's all I care about. Unfortunately, not as much as you'd like. He was normally <laughs> only there for King of the Hill. Alright, fair Instead, enough. Instead, they opted for Zenyatta for the backup healer. <laughs> the good times can't last forever, I suppose. <laughs> so, you remember how I said the um, best player was on, like, South Korea? Yeah. He didn't win MVP award. Oh, why not? <laughs> because there was one guy on Canada who kept fucking up, so everyone voted for him. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was just so bad, people memed him? Yeah. <laughs> into the victory? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It, uh, XQC, and... By the way, uh, first off, Steve, I want to thank that Tinted Rock for paying out with two troll bombs. Ooh, nice. <laughs> what, what, a, what a good payout that one was. Yeah, I, I, I was really rooting for Canada, but they just couldn't do it. Yeah, well, I mean, come on, it's South Korea. They're, like, somehow hardwired to play video games. Yeah. They didn't bring back their um, MVP, South Korea's MVP from last time. That's why they didn't get MVP this time. They didn't want to have to get rid of them. It's probably, like, some sort of South Korean tradition to yeah. summarily <laughs> sacrifice your, the MVP. But I really liked him. He was called Milo, and... He only played Winston. Oh, uh, he, yeah, he was called Milo, and he was a uh, hardcore writer for Breitbart and Republican. <laughs> Milo uh, yeah, Yiannopoulos. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. Who, who's the kid in um, Finding Nemo? Oh, it's Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's a, that's a... Throw that one in the highlight reel, Steve. <laughs> okay, I'll remember it. No, we'll... <laughs> That could be good for a stupid highlight reel thing one day oh, when man. we have time. Didn't I say something really dumb this episode, too? I don't know. I've already forgotten. Yeah, so the South Korean player was named Flower, and he should have won, but memes prevail yet again. I mean, I would rather have the memes prevail than actually have, like, a serious thing. Oh, well, they get paid. If, if, okay. You, if you win. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, no, never mind then. Never mind. Yeah, you get, you get paid more, and you get, um, you get a trophy. I, mean, I, I don't care about that. Give give the give the trophy to the other person. I don't care. But yeah, if if he's been like financially robbed, <laughs> then I'd be like, I mean, okay, he, yeah. he's gonna be fine. He doesn't have to serve in the military because he's a, he's a professional player. Also, <laughs> also, he was only seventeen. Okay. Yeah, it's like all, all the other people were like twenties. Okay. So he was just like really good. Yeah, he was really good. <laughs> what hey. uh, what what esports are we gonna end up getting into, Steve? Fucking. Hearthstone? <laughs> yeah. That, that's the one that we can beat Korea at because it's RNG. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, you, you talked once about how you and Tom went into a combined um, Smash Bros. Melee and... Um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Mario, Mario, Kart Mario, Mario, Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash uh, tournament. Do you think we could get into an eSports where it's Hearthstone Binding of Isaac? We have to do co-op <laughs> in Binding of Isaac, and I'm just like, yeah, you know what, Steve, just uh, just sit there and like what, let what, me handle what, this. What do you do for co-op Hearthstone? Um, you know, maybe it's just like a, a strat strategy sort of thing. 
You know, it'd be pretty cool if they added um, 2v2 in Hearthstone. Dude, like, I would... If they would do that, I think I might try to get back into it again. I, di I did like my deck in Hearthstone. Where... You, could, you could be my coach, man. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. I'll just tell you, like, build whatever you want. Like, that, that to me is the fun of it, is just gain cards and being like, oh, I want to make this card work somehow. Yeah, it's, but, it's, like, I'm I'm bad at, like, building a deck around something. Usually I'm just like, yeah, let's throw that in, let's throw that in, let's throw three of that in. What do you yeah. mean I can't do that? Fuck you. Yeah. And then I quit. <laughs> My deck was simply, I want to get a lot of beasts out because I had three cards that comboed well. One was a monster where every time a beast died, I draw a card. Okay. I had another card where every time a beast died, this monster would gain plus two attack and plus one health. Okay. Uh. And then I had a card where if I play, it was a magic card, and when I played it, I got a 1-1 one, one dog for every monster the opponent had that could then instantly attack. Oh, nice. So, if I did it right, I could have done I mean, don't give, don't give away your full strats, man. Once, once we start shit, getting into... It's a shit strat. <laughs> once we start getting into these pro Hearthstone tournaments, <laughs> people are just going to have to do their homework, and, like, we need, we need to keep the pro strats, like, secret. I mean, they are... It's just so basic. <laughs> You're basic. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've gotten to rank 16 with it, so I feel content with it. You know, uh, what, it what is good in uh, Hearthstone um, rank? You want to get to 1, obviously. So, oh, I mean, no, I didn't know, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like from 20 to 1. Okay. So you want to go down. So I was not that good. I'd say if you get into... if you obviously. Get oh, into, my God, the fucking mushroom blew up and poison farted on If you, you get into, <laughs> like, the top... One, then you are really good. I think if you're in the top three, that's that's commendable. I thought there was like a master grandmaster sort of thing. Yeah. Um. When you get to one, you are then like shown how. Oh, and fight, then you like, can fight against other ones. <laughs> it's like okay, so when you hit one, it's like you're now five thousand. That means in this server you are the five thousand best player for this season. Mm. So you're trying to slowly build your way up to, like, number one. Okay. Oh, my God. That champion. Experience. So a lot of people, like, last day or two just really try and get there really fast. All right. Because <laughs> then you just don't play when you get really high and you're like, yeah. I'm Isn't not... getting, like, that high really boring? You both, It's just RNG at that point. Nah. I mean, to some extent, it's always RNG, but, yeah, like, it, it's, always it's RNG. really just RNG. Like, you both run Pirate Warrior and whoever gets to pop first wins. Well, if it's... One of the big things is to be like, okay, so the meta for people is like Pirate War, so you build a deck against Pirate Yeah, I was going to say, so the, the second layer meta is yeah. to only combat Pirate Warrior. Yeah, so that's, that's so the, the big thing. So the game theory starts before the game even starts. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> and basically it's just rock, paper, scissors then. Like, if you have Pirate Warrior and the other person has anti-Pirate Warrior, you're screwed. Kinda. But if you have anti-anti-Pirate Warrior... <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's like, yeah, I don't want to... It's one of those things with it that um, I like it, but it's just weird to do. Like, to try and be like, yeah, I want to be number one of this game when it's a fair amount of RNG. I want to be, like, at a decent place where it's like, yeah. yeah. What's, a, what's a decent rank where it's not just, like, weird RNG stuff going on? I know I said, like, three is good, but I, I, I would definitely sell for, like, five. Okay. Are we talking um, Hearthstone or Dead by Daylight? Yes. Dude, that'd be a great... Hearthstone uh, slash Dead by Daylight co-op tournament? <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck would that... Okay, so... I don't know how it would work, all right? I'm so, not the one who has to set it all up. All right, so you be a survivor. You're the survivor, and I'm the hunt and the, the killer. You get five teams, and the weird thing is, is that when you're survivor, you don't want to save the other people, but if the person's really good, then you want to save them. Yeah, no, no, no there's, there's, like, some sort... Okay, there's got to be some sort of, like, happy meet in the middle, because, like, you combine the points together. So you want to get a lot of points, but your teammate yeah. is a killer, so you also want your killer to kill a lot of other people. But maybe you can't know who the uh, who's on your team or not. Maybe. So you want to try to, like, subtly well, sell out all your teammates for the uh, killer. The best... I know the best way to get points as Survivor is to farm your teammates. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I... And it, it's, just, it's literally just like, yeah, you get them off the hook, and you try and make it so the killer is there, so they kill them again, and then put them back on the hook, so then you can do it again. Right. And then you try and do it a third time, and you just get them killed. <laughs> right. Okay, so, uh, quick uh, PSA. I will be fighting Delirium. Uh, not right now, though, because there's still another boss fight yeah. to go to. I do know the optimal strat is, hey, don't fight Delirium, just alt F4 out of the game as soon as you fight him, because he doesn't give you many points, but come on. <laughs> come on! Have, yeah, come on! Let's have, let's have some fun here. Let's have some fun here, man! No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, do, I do love watching Dead by Daylight. I do not want to play it. Yeah. It is just... 
a very toxic place. Oh, it's toxic, really. The survivors are fucking assholes. <laughs> okay. And a fair amount of killers play the most powerful killer in the game, and it's just not fun. Oh, okay. Because the one character can literally just teleport Did, yeah. through, through walls. It just gets rid of so many of the strategies. Didn't you say Baru was trying to farm to rank one with the worst character? I thought the so. The worst character with no perks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he fucking... He had to cave and switch to a good character. Oh no. <laughs> it, it was a thing of beauty. Oh wait, doesn't picking this up give you more points? One sec, let me check this out. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, it does. Okay. I do... I do love watching him play some killers. There's some, like I don't want to ever watch him do the character killer he doesn't like because it is literally just so fucking boring. And I <laughs> agree with him like it's not fun. <laughs> it's just like meta wise, it's the right way to go. No, no, no. It the most boring character is not the best. Oh, really? Okay. The best character is just it's, it's fine to watch. It's just like it's not fun to play against. So okay, it just feels wrong. The worst character is is another character that can teleport, but you have to, like, put down um, runes, and then if Asara runs over it, you can teleport there. Oh. Which, which is fine. Oh, it's, it is? It's, it's, I... it's not... It's not... The, the main character... The best killer is called Nurse, and she can um, just, like, right-click and then uh, speed through anywhere and go through walls and stuff. So Steven's she... actually reaching his hand out right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's just really ah! stupid, because with, with the rune, you just avoid them. You just have situational awareness. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, so it's like, de the rune is decently noticeable. It's not decently noticeable, but you can notice it. Also, if you have a flashlight, you can destroy it. There's Whoa. counters to it. There's no counter to nurse. Oh, okay. Who's the best? Let's see, um, Hunter, let's see, other fun characters are, like, Hunters, where you have throwing hatchets. Hillbilly, where you can, um, have a chainsaw that one-shots. Okay. Mm. There's, at, uh, I don't want to say, like, how he does it, but, um... Leatherface, who everyone considers to be um, Hillbilly's stupid brother. You can fill in that word. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, Baru likes to give him the Elmo voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to the I'm the Hello, friend. <laughs> it, it is a thing of beauty. Although he doesn't do it every time, but when he does, quality. <laughs> All right, so if I had to talk about the run. Well, I mean, let's see how... Um... Uh, where do I, oh yeah, here's the score sheet. Uh, so yeah, if I didn't fight Delirium, I would have gotten, like, three more places up, so. Um, does red mean anything? Red, uh, Means death? Red means they died, which is kind of strange. Yeah. D don't know how you get that much of a, that many points, but, oh, maybe they played a lot of, like, blood banks in that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they, maybe they tried to, like, farm points a lot. <laughs> probably we, I mean... I'm thinking, well, you don't go too hard on it. Oh, wait, they all tap forward. Because it's the, del oh. it's the delirium fight. <laughs> and it's like, okay. fuck it, why bother? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, so if I, yeah, if I were to, like, pussy out of the delirium fight, I only would have gotten, like, three more Could places. Could you first against that guy? Yeah, I really think uh, 700,000 <laughs> points was within reach. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. That was all in all a good run. Uh, the uh, Libra pickup I did was questionable. And the Halo pickup was just really dumb, so... How was Halo dumb? Uh, I got rid of Horror Babylon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so that made a massive all stats down for me because of yeah, Libra. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, so, uh, but then again, you know, Quad Shot, Guppy, Good Rate of Fire, you know, there's a, there, there wasn't much to complain about with that yeah, run. Yeah, it was a good run. I destroyed Delirium with seven damage, which points to the fact, like, yeah, don't complain about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed another episode of this and our rambling talking topics, huh? I love the stream of consciousness we end up going on yeah. with these, <laughs> wherever we may end up. Okay, everyone, goodbye. See you later, everyone.